Right. Hi everybody, this is Helen, your Stamping Up demonstrator from Bell Block in New Zealand. Nice to join you today. The weather's not very nice out there. It's um, quite rough and really, really cold, um, but it's nice to be inside the classroom and crafting. So I see Susan's arrived. Hi Susan, thanks for joining me again today. It was nice to catch up with you yesterday, as always. Um, yeah, so what have I been up to? I had a class this morning, so I caught up with my Waitra ladies and Maureen was able to join us this morning, so that was great. So it was nice to catch up with them. Uh, we did the specialty cards that we've um, I've had classes for this week. So I had Tuesday night, Wednesday morning and this morning, so that was awesome. Just nice catching up with ladies, that's for sure. Right, what else is happening in my world? Getting ready for this weekend's class. We've got the Daisy Delight, I think that's what it's called, a DSP class this weekend. Um, looking forward to that. There's some really great cards that we're making with that. And I might grab those later and show you quickly um, at the end of my video. Right, so today I thought, oh, what am I going to do? And it's always a rush trying to think uh, what design a paper, what stamp sets I'm going to use, what type of card I'm going to make. So I'm making a card a similar to one of the cards we made for specialty class this week but using different papers. So I'll put you on my little card tree and we'll get started. I know a few people are busy today. I caught up with Maureen twice today and um, I know she's going to be a little bit late catching my lives. So the, I think the joy of this is that I can record it now and everyone can watch it whenever they are ready and available. So that's great. Right, we'll put you on my card tree and we'll get started. So I thought I would use the Fishing DSP. I did a class with the Fishing DSP um, last weekend and I love the DSP, I really do. Some people get put off it because they think it can only be fish and it Oh, I've got you upside down. What am I? Oh, what's happening here? I've changed you over. How did that work? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know what's happened, but my camera has... Rotate your phone. It's all right. I'm rotating my phone. Let's see if I can put it on here. Can you still hear me, Susan? Can you let me know, please? Um, I don't know what happened, but it changed my whole thing backwards for some reason. So I've now put you on my card tree, upside down, <laughs> and let's hope this works. Unfortunately, you may find that the measurements of that may be backwards. But we'll make the card anyway, okay? So we're going to start with the card base. This is 14.8 by 21, so it's half a sheet. We are going to fold that in half. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that. I normally change my screen so you can see everything in the right direction, but I think it's going to be backwards today, but never mind. So that is a normal card base. I've then cut a piece of designer series paper, so this is 10 centimetres by 14.3 centimetres. They're great papers, these fishing papers, there's lots and lots of different things and they're all fishy on one side and the other side are all sorts of patterns that you could use for lots of men's cards and really nice um, designs. So I decided to use this water effect today. So I'll grab my seal and take my lid off, that might help. And we'll just do some seal, like so. And we'll put that onto the front of our card, leaving a nice little border, just like that. Perfect, right. The next thing we're gonna do, I did this card yesterday and we cut out a die, but I'm gonna try it with a punch. So I'm using this punch. Now this is in the catalogue. It's a great punch. It's a decorative circle punch. Okay, oh, see you're all upside down now. <laughs> I'm not used to this. I'm used to me having to do things upside down. So it's this decorative circle punch here. Um, it's a really nice punch and I've used it for quite a few different things. So I'm gonna see how that goes. So I'm gonna put that in about where should we put it about there as far as it will go and we'll punch that out of the front of there 
I'm going to keep this because I want to use this. Got a little bit of tape on it. Underneath for my layer underneath. Right. The next thing I'm going to do is I have a piece of boho blue. So this is 14.3 by 20 centimetres. Okay, and we're going to score that. Now I'm not sure how this is going to look on here, but we'll see if I can um, if I can do it. Then you can see what I'm up to. So we will score that at five centimeters, and we'll polish that along, and we'll score it at ten centimeters. Okay. Right. So this gets folded towards the center and then fold it back again. So you can just fold it, you don't need to score it, but it is so much nicer when it has been scored. I keep, I keep feeling like I'm back to front at the moment, but that's okay. Right, so then on this piece here, I have a piece of designer paper that I've cut out. So this is, this is the back of the one with the fish, and this is really gorgeous, I love this. It's amazing, I love the colors of it. So I'm gonna put that on there like so. I could have the fish side, Maybe I should just wait and see. I might want the fish side. Let me see when I put all this together. Okay, what else are we going to do? I thought I would bring in a two and a half inch circle punch. And I'm just going to punch that. And we'll layer this piece on top of there just to give that little bit of a blue edge. So, put that down flat just like that this piece here now I'm going to put that inside my card so if we put it like that that is 10 centimeters by 14.3 that will fit in there with a little bit of a blue border all the way around so we'll put that into there is back to front on the thing. I'm just watching thinking it is back to front. It should be this way. Is that better? <laughs> I don't know. It just seems strange watching it and trying to do it at the same time. Yep, that piece goes across. Right, so this is the front of my card. How confusing is this? Okay, and this piece here is going to sit inside there like so. And we're going to just work out where that needs to go like there's a certain way this punch goes, and you've just got to make sure that you get it right. Okay, oh, there we go. Is that it? No. Oh, I don't know. I'll work it out. Now, should we have... Fish might be quite cute. I like the fish. I think I'm going to use fish. This, this side here just blends in with the blue, so... We will use the fish today. And they're just going on here, like that. Isn't that cute? Right, and this one needs to be um, put on here. So let me just see if I can find which way this punch goes because it does go a certain way, just like that. Perfect. So we'll put some tape down this side. <laughs> Line it up. Moved it again. There we go. That's the way it goes. Like that. I want it to show so it shows perfectly underneath there. There we go. Put that down so that's going to be attached on that side like that. Okay. Now, something else I was thinking of before, and I think we might do it because why not? Because we can. Is I've got this stamp set, Beauty of the Deep. I love this. Look at the detail in that little stamp there. I'm, I'm upside down and back to front. I don't know what's happened to my phone, but anyway, I'll sort that out for next time. As long as you get to see what we make, that's the main thing. Let me just grab this. I haven't actually used this stamp before. It's always starting to get underneath that end. Right, 
right, so we'll put that on a block. And I think we might stamp it in Knight of Navy. So what I'm going to do with that, hopefully this works. I get all these ideas and then I really do hope that they work. Right, I'm going to stamp that up the side here, like so. Because sometimes we don't actually think about stamping on designer series paper, but it can look totally amazing. We'll do a little bit down there as well. A little bit down there. Isn't that cute? That was so cool. Right. The other thing that I'm going to need is I'm going to need a greeting. Oh, I love it. Love that on there. That's beautiful. Right. Let's find ourselves a greeting. So Very Best Occasions is a really great stamp set. It has really nice um, a variety of greetings which you could use and it has um, other pieces that you can put inside your card as well. So that's always handy. So we'll grab the happy birthday from there. Put that onto a block. Grab a piece of white. And we will put, stamp that on there like that okay so i will punch that out it's weird watching and seeing that everything is upside down it's like <gasps> stressing me out a little bit but that's okay we will survive we will get there now what color should i put behind that let's have a look i could put i might put that color Let's try. So this is Misty Moonlight. We'll stamp that, punch it out with scallop, part of the double oval punch. Attach that together. Like so. Then we'll find some dimensionals. Card's not complete without using dimensionals somewhere. So we will pop that on the bottom just there like that right now what are we going to put in here i was thinking we have these cute little fish that one there might look really nice i think i will cut that one out so unfortunately unfortunately we do not have cutters for these but fussy cutting can be very relaxing i reckon i love fussy cutting <laughs> Right, so we'll just cut that out quickly, like so. Um, so what else has been happening in Stamping Up? Well, we've had the new online exclusives, and I've had a couple of new products arrive, which is exciting. I always love getting new products. We've got bonus day coupons at the moment, so it's a fantastic time to place your orders, because you are going to get... For every $110 you spend, you get an $11 coupon to spend in August. So that's really exciting. Um, that's a great little incentive to place your order, especially if you've had a few things on those wish lists. Right. So um, it's been busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. Right. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's so cute. Love that fish. Right. Grab some dimensionals. Doesn't take much to excite some people, does it? Give me a fish, it's so cute. <laughs> we'll take the dimensionals off there and we'll pop them down on there like that. Oh, actually, why don't we? Let me think. Um, I might just grab, I might grab this one. I'm thinking which stamp set I want to use. So out of this stamp set here, which is the Gone Fishing, we've got this little cutie here which creates some little water so let's just not put our fish down just yet and I want to put some water along here just just a little bit so I might do that in navy because I've got the navy out the navy needs re-inking by the look of it so let's just, just add a little bit of water Normally I would stamp all this before I put it together, but you know, sometimes we just don't think of these things till later, do we? So that just gives that piece now a little bit more texture, which is awesome. You may not see that from there, but let me just bring it up closer. 
Yeah, it's a bit of a paste. Yeah, it just gives that little bit of texture in the background. Right, now we can put our fish on there. Like, oh, put them up the right way. Like so. Right, so he'll stay in that little gap. Now, for the background, we need something to write on. So, we'll grab a piece of white. And this is nine and a half by 14, no, by 13.8. Nine and a half by 13.8. We need some words for the middle. So what have we got here? Sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. That will be nice. We'll put that inside. Some of the other, oh, we could have good thing. Oh, no, I'm going to use this because I quite like the words on this. I've only got a big block here, but that's okay. We'll be fine. We will stamp that in navy. Sometimes if you've got a big block and a big stamp, it's easier to put your ink pad on to the stamp rather than the other way around. There we go. That is very cool. What else are we going to do on here? Oh, let's just put a little bit more of this lovely, lovely seaweed up the side. Oh, that's cute. Love it. Okay, what else have we got? Shall we? What else can we put on? Oh. I think we can put some of this coral. This coral looks exciting. So on this one here, we've got this beautiful coral here. We'll grab that. I need to find another block. Let me just grab my cleaner for a second. I should clean as I go because otherwise I end up with a bit of a mess. So clean that. Take that one off. And we will put... <laughs> now I've lost it. I've lost it. Where is it gone? I had it a second ago. It's stuck to the back of my cleaner. <gasps> right. This coral. This is very cute. So that can go in the opposite corner. We might do that with the boho blue, which is our new blue. It's a blue that's very, very nice. Now this is quite inky, this one, I think. So I'll just tap it gently. We'll just put that down this corner. <gasps> That's lovely. Right, so that can then go inside our card to write on. It um, can be a bit nerve-wracking making cards up as you go because you, you never know whether it's going to work out how you visual visualise it or not. But it's also quite good for you guys because you get to see how the process works and it doesn't always work out as smoothly as you may think. Right, so we'll place that in the middle of there like that. That comes across like that. We'll just grab, I didn't grab my bow folder. Just need to have a good crease for that. And a good crease for that as well. So there you go. There's my card. Isn't it cute? Sorry, the happy birthday's back to front. Oh, it's upside down too. <laughs> the happy birthday's, yeah, back to front. But that's because I've changed my camera over. Lovely, cute little fish there, and it opens out like that. I would put probably another thing of DSP and the same fish down through there, but that's all I've got left of my whole pack. Now, to finish that off, and Maureen would be so happy because Maureen, she is a Wink of Stella person. She Wink of Stella's everything, and it really makes a difference. So for those of you who don't know what a Wink of Stella is, it's a little brush and it, when you paint it onto anything, whether it's a stamped image or a piece of designer paper or anything, it gives you beautiful shimmer. And you won't be able to see it on the camera as much as you can see it in real life. But it is, you may, you may get to see it, I don't know. I never know where I'm supposed to be putting the... Yeah, I don't know if you can quite see the shimmer on there, but in real life it is very, very pretty and it's really shiny. So that's my card for today. Now, if you just wait two seconds, I'll grab the cards from the weekend. So in the weekend we are doing the Daisy class and these are cards made with the beautiful Fresh as a Daisy papers. So we have this one, and we have this one, 
we also have this one and we have that one and we have this one and we have this one so it's going to be a very very busy class but lots of beautiful cards that we'll be making with that beautiful daisy paper right oh now i've got to think how i've got to do it this way <laughs> this is really weird oops i'm upside down is it this way haha -ha. <laughs> just as well i've got my ipad to keep an eye on and see which way i'm heading Right, so thank you very much for joining me, everybody. I don't know what happened with my phone and our technical issues, but hopefully I will get it sorted for next time. I hope you've enjoyed the card I've made. If you would like to make a card and um, share it with us, please send me a photo. I'd love to share it on my page with everybody else. Last week, Mari Yates made an amazing shaker card. It was her first shaker card ever, and she did really, really well. So it's really nice that I can share a video on here on Facebook Live and um, teach you different different things that you can try at home. If you'd like to know about the products I've used today or anything about that, please let me know. You can go to my online shop at helenmcewen.stampinup.net and you can see all the products on there. If you'd like a catalogue, please let me know and I'll send you one out. Okay, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I look forward to catching up with you again next week. Hopefully my technical issues will be resolved and I will work out what's going on with my phone. Okay, so for now, have a great day and I look forward to catching up with you all again next week. Bye for now.